Hey everybody, Dr. Caitlin here with Fit PT. I'm going to take you through a hamstring and glute bridging series. Now we're going to build up the levels of somewhat intensity, but also just differentiating um, the load more so on the hamstrings versus the glutes in this exercise series. So I'll kind of walk you through each one, um, but I would suggest grabbing a physio ball or stability ball um, that's an appropriate size for you and your body. And usually how I'll tell people to measure that is when you sit on the ball, your knees and your hips should be at a 90-90 angle. Okay, so that's just a good estimate to make sure that your ball's not too small or too big. So I'm gonna go ahead and place the ball underneath the bottom of my calves and ankles. I'm gonna lay down on the mat space and I'm gonna squeeze my legs together. So lay down on the mat space, first thing, what to do with your hands? Place your hands down at your sides and kind of reach your fingertips long towards your heels so you can create more space between your ears and your shoulders. I don't like seeing people laying down and creating tension in their shoulders. So go ahead and reach and press your arms. Now from here, legs are together, toes and knees are pointed straight up as you exhale, I want you to think about tightening and pulling your core, your belly down and in, and lifting up from your seat, okay? That's really important that you kind of tuck your pelvis. So big exhale and lift. So we're starting with just a basic bridge up with straight knees. Inhale as you lower, exhale as you lift. Now you're using both glutes and hamstrings during this exercise, but I tend to call this more of a hamstring bridge and you'll see why when you practice it, that it is isolating more of those inner thighs and hamstrings just a little bit deeper than even the glutes themselves. But as you're elevated at the top, I'm asking my patients constantly, are you feeling the base of your seat, the bottom of your butt cheeks? That's your glute max, as well as your hamstrings. You should feel very little in your low back if you're doing this properly. If you're lifting too high, that might be an indication that you're actually using more of your back muscles to do this and less of your lower body muscles, okay? So you wanna focus more on the lower body. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift, okay? So we're doing a hip extension moment here, heavily focused on the legs. Exhale, lift. So now the breath is important here. You could switch up the breath, but no matter what, I don't want you holding your breath. All right, so that's exercise number one in the series. All right, so you might do, depending on who you are, you might do eight to 10 reps, you might do 12 to 15, kind of depends on what you're working on. All right, so second exercise, you're gonna lift up into that bridge, get your glutes and hands on, make sure your core is pulled in, your pelvis is tucked. This time, you're gonna pull your heels in towards your seat, doing a hamstring curl. Now option, you can kind of combine the first two exercises by lowering the hips down, lifting up, curling in, curling out, lower the hips down. So I would do exhale, breath up, inhale, pull in, big squeeze, exhale back out, inhale, lower. All right, now if you wanna add a little bit more challenge to this, I would say it's like part B of exercise two, you're gonna to continue to keep your hips elevated. Go right back out to that bridge. Pull her in, pull her out. Now, again, do a breath combination that works for you, just don't hold your breath. But if I'm holding my hips up, I tend to exhale on the exertion where I pull in, inhale as I let go. But I'm always coming back to that nice, solid, straight, strong bridge, okay? So no arching of the back and no dipping of the hips. All right, so that is exercise number two, hamstring curls. Now you notice I just naturally kind of pulled my knees in and I'm gonna rock side to side. If there's any discomfort or strain in your low back or maybe you've exhausted your repetitions, you may wanna consider giving yourself a little breather like I am. All right, exercise number three. This is actually gonna be a perfect position to start this one. This is a more glute heavy bridge. So keeping your knees bent, I have basically my heels pressing down to the edge of the ball. As I exhale, very glute, face of the seat focus. I'm gonna lift up, squeeze. Notice I'm in one straight line between my knees, my hips, and my shoulders. Belly's pulled in, I'm not arching. Inhale as I lower, exhale as I lift. Now again, you are still gonna feel your hamstrings, but I tend to call this more glute bridging because you're going to emphasize the hip thrust 
and the activation from the base of your seat. Big exhale. So it's not just a squeeze of your cheeks, you guys. It's actually pressing down into the ball with your calves, your ankles, or your feet that drives and turns on your glutes. So it's more from a press that activates those guys. Again, good eight to 10 reps or 12 to 15, depending on what you're working on. Give yourself a break, side to side. If you need to do a little hamstring stretching in between, if that's helpful, just kind of shaking out the legs. Awesome. So that's kind of the main three double leg bridges. Let's show you a couple single leg challenges, all right? So this is for someone who's been already working on those first three for a while. First, we're gonna start with just basic leg lifts. So I'm gonna put some pressure into my left leg as I lift my right. Notice my hips didn't change. I didn't twist, I didn't dip down. Inhale, lower. Shift to the right side, exhale, lift. So I'm pressing down into the back of my right calf. Exhale, lift. Now I kind of have to shift side to side just a little bit to exchange sides on the ball. So there's a little bit of that, but it's not a lot. Notice my hips here. They're staying square. They're staying level. Nothing is falling down or dipping down or rotating. There's a little side to side shift like a typewriter, but that's only so I can lift my leg. All right. Now you want to get real crazy. You can start doing some hip lifts. Again, both hips come down at the same time. Ooh, I can't do a lot of those. That's, that's hard. Okay, both hips come down at the same time and lift at the same time. Oh, my right side's always my harder side. Okay, you're gonna get about three of those out of me. All right, so that's another single leg challenge. And then the final single leg challenge, we'll see how well I do this for you all, is you're gonna lift and then you're gonna curl. I've done these in a long time. I have to admit, form's probably not perfect, but you get the gist of it. Holding up there, curling in, curling out, using your breath, keeping your hips and pelvis stable. All right, so those are some double and single leg challenges for you on the physio ball. Stressing breath and core as the foundation, and then really focusing in on working your hamstrings and glutes. I hope you all found this video helpful. If you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to your Fit PT's YouTube page, and we'll see you next time.